Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, as you may or may not know, Samsung actually ships two different versions of the Galaxy S10 throughout the world. In some countries, for example, in North America, it has the Snapdragon 855 processor. In many other parts of the world, including in Europe, it has the Samsung Exynos 9820 processor. And the question always is, which of these two variants is actually faster? Well, today I've put both of them side by side and I've run speed test G. So let's find out what happens. And we're off. We've got the S10 Plus with the Snapdragon 855 on the left-hand side. We've got the S10 Plus with the Exynos 9820 on the right-hand side. And the test I'm running on, look at this now. The 855 is already into the 2048 test. The Exynos 9820 already lost at least a couple of seconds there. This is not looking good for the Exynos 9820. We'd placed so much hope on the 9820, all the new improvements. But already, look, you can see the 855 went to the Bloom test first. Still behind it is the Exynos 9820. I do hope this is not a repeat. On the SQL light test there, the same speed as we saw yesterday. Oh, but look at that. The Exynos 9820 did exactly the same thing. So clearly that is to do with Samsung. Clearly they have something either in Android or something to do with their internal storage that really makes that SQL Lite test go really well. The 855 is already well into the uh, 2D gaming test. In fact, it's finished that now. It's into the thread test while the Exynos 9820 is just going into the 16 thread test now. Of course, after this, we get the Unity test where we're really going to push those GPUs. Of course, we've got the Adreno GPU in the Snapdragon 855. We've got the Mali GPU in the Exynos 9820. Already the 55 has got that clear lead. Is the 9820 going to be able to catch up? Is the GPU really going to be able to pull it out of the bag? We really are asking something hard now. We're asking the 9820 to dig deep to really get this GPU pushing hard there, but it looks like it's not going to happen. It looks like the 80, 855 is running very smoothly there. Didn't even see the hiccups that we saw yesterday. It's coming now to that castle scene. This really is the end of the race into the compression test. Just a few more seconds to go and the 9820 is nowhere to be seen. There we have it. One minute and 32.7 seconds. Just slightly faster than what we saw yesterday. And only now is the 9820 coming to the end of that castle scene. It's now into the compression test. How many seconds is it going to be? I feel so embarrassed about this. I really don't know what to say. What we're going to see. One minute and 49 seconds. Oh dear, that's the same as what a Snapdragon 845 does on the Speed Test G. I don't really know what more to say. The results speak clearly for themselves. I'll put the breakdown of the CPU and the GPU times in the description below. I'm not going to say anything else. I'll leave it all to the comments. Just let me say one thing. I'm Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.